What's up guys? Martin Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. And we're at Prospecting New York City Part 2. So not too long ago I left a little feed on my Facebook post that the lower half of Brooklyn was alluvial. So I wanted to give it a test run in the area I saw on the edge of that map. So I'm going to go take a peek, which is pretty cool. You can see Manhattan skyline and the Jersey City skyline where I'm standing. So I'm going to go take a peek in this area over here and see if I can find any deposits. Um, I know there is a crazy quartz mica formation over here. So I'm going to take some samples and so show you later. I'm going to assume so right that, remember, Brooklyn is more of an island. So the coast of the island and the bedrock is really depending on the ocean bottom and how it's ge geologically laid out. So I'm going to assume for them to beef up the coast because of erosion, natural erosion, they're going to take from the sea and the land, uh, take from the sea and keep on emptying it into the land. So I'm going to hope the material they stole from the bottom of the area from where I'm hoping is the bottom of the ocean and obviously when they dredge I have a really old tree here it's probably about 70 years old so this tree was here for a long time I'm gonna dig around this tree the back of it I'm gonna dig you can see all the quartz the little quartz rocks all along here I'm gonna dig this area down a little I see a nice piece of rock blasting up right there I can see if you see that rock I'm pointing at and another rock um, it looks like a nice bedrock is popping up from the from over here so I'm gonna follow that rock right there I'm gonna dig down a little and just take a sample and see if we find some gold so hold on and let me get to digging Take the overburden off. scraping on something hard. So the gold is not leaving this area. Alright. So we got a nice pan worked. I'm gonna pan this out and see if I can find any gold in this area. I'll be right back. Ooh, stickies. <laughs> Get you a little closer. looking all right you got some in here some water some material I'm gonna shake it some water's in there get the heavies to the bottom
Let's see some of the heavies I found while I'm at it. Piece of quartz um, with mica in it. I'm gonna rust it. Got some regular, you got a lot of quartz in here. So let me get this down a little further and let me see. Lock down. I got black sand. Nothing. Nothing. I don't even know if that was even in camera. I have black sand. As you can see, there's black sand in there, but there was nothing in this sample. So I'm going to look for one more spot, and I'll see if I can find something. So wish me luck. I got one more sample. Let's try this out, and let's see what we got. Oh. I just like to see what rocks I grab out and see when I'm that deep, what do I find? So I'm finding some quartzy material. I'd like to just check my rocks first. More quartz. this together. Cool looking rock. Ah, nice. Nice rusted mica rock. Keep that. All right. Put this together.
more black sand. But, I don't know if I see any gold yet. No, no gold. All right. So, uh, all right. So, let me go hunting for a couple more it spots. It got kind of and dark I'm and drizzly out. This is how I ended up my day. I went to that mica quartz foundation area. That kind of that outcrop. It's pretty wicked, but I mean, I'll show you some of the pieces I found. Let's get at the zoom. I mean, this stuff is super, super crystal. Crisp, this so much stuff. Look at the look at the rusting on the outside. That is pretty wicked. You can see that quartz vein straight down the middle of it, and on the bottom. I mean, it's just all over my hands. <laughs> but I mean, this stuff is really, really wicked rich when it crystallized. Another piece. Quartz, mica, all little rust stains in the middle of, you can see there's iron in it. Broke off the corner there. Thick piece of quartz. Here, yeah. more of the, then it, you know, then it materializes after the quartz vein. So, another piece. Quartz, mica. More quartz, quartzy material, more quartz, mica. Oh, I mean, look at this piece. Ah! Look at this piece of quartz. Let's see if I can show you what I can see. Right down the, the center of it, you can see all that, all this right here. Now, it comes down the middle of this vein, quartz. It's got some on top. I don't know what it is. I haven't brought it up to a mic uh, microscope yet. But it looks like, it looks, maybe it's some mica probably mixed in. It didn't totally, um, you know, engulf itself in yet. But there's a lot of it on there. Here, and there's this vein right here. There's more crystallization right here. Pretty much all over this rock. Goes right down the center of it. All right, and then I found I found this one and I mean this this one is pretty cool um, it's quartz um, it's some some granite on here there's some um, I mean this thing is completely mixed in it even has some rust stain in so it has iron in it um, but it's definitely a nice quartzy piece that might be worth crushing it has olvitine in it which is uh, mantle material Then at the very end when it started to get rainy I found this huge right off this mica pit. I Found this huge pile of good material. I mean really really good material um, A lot of it is quartz and mica, but it was it's all black sand um, Nasty material probably some nasty panning stuff, but it started to rain when I was out there before so I had a, I, I grabbed a really nice sample of it that was behind this big rock, so it's kind of I, the ideal place, and um, I'm going to hope for the best in that, but I mean, remember, every trip is not always about finding gold, it's about scouting um, and learning the area, I mean, I did leave with some treasures, I mean, these rocks are pretty cool, I'm going to slab this piece and uh, maybe, maybe polish it, because this is a really, really nice piece. And um, see what it looks like, and if it looks really spectacular, I can definitely um, throw some uh, th some some of these beautiful slabs on eBay, or do giveaways and stuff like that. Especially with this mica, maybe I might crush some, maybe I might polish some. And this bad boy, um, I'm definitely gonna get him. I'm definitely gonna break this up and uh, see what it looks like inside, and um, check it out. But you never, you just never know. You just never know. I run the metal detector over these because this rock, this is, this right here is super heavy. Um, and so is this. Even this piece right here is really heavy. So, who knows? 
at the end of the trip, I did have fun, and that's what it's all about, enjoying yourself while you're out there looking for treasures. Like I said, gold is the main treasure we always want. But um, in these samples, there might be some gold, but there also might be some beautiful pieces, um, um, specimens. And that's about it. So, guys, um, enjoying myself this spring. Can't wait for the summer. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that subscription button, usually right over here, and the like button. And if you are on a Patreon and you want to help support the channel, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com backslash golden pay dirt reviews, where we always do mega fifth of the month giveaways, and I mean mega. You can also help donate to the channel at paypal.me backslash Martin Mastrangelo. And, um, and that's about it. I uh, really had fun. And I'm trying to mix up the channel, doing the reviews, doing the giveaways, doing the prospecting, doing the metal detecting, um, whatever I see fit that will be an adventure. And that's what I hope to bring to you, some content you guys enjoy. So one more time, let's take a look at the pieces. <laughs> I mean, they really are nice. I mean, you know that this, to make this stuff. Um, when it first happened was crazy, crazy crystallization, you know, running down water, getting trapped in rocks and crystallizing minerals, um, you know, and all kind of good stuff. So to get this, to get this usually with iron and to make this iron and this staining with the quartz and the mica usually follows with gold. So there might be some traces of gold in this quartz rock. I mean, you just don't know. And it looks promising, you know, look, look inside there, it looks promising. Some really nice pieces. I'll do some sampling on them. Really, really nice pieces. Look at that. It's the outside of it, come over, drops into this huge, thick thing of mica, flips back over. We got rust staining, we got quartz on this backside. Nice, another nice piece of quartz in the middle with some micro on the end and some rust stain in. There's some more quartz on the back. This huge piece is just really crazy. I mean, look how shiny it is. It's really, really shiny. The end, look how that rust stain is. Look at that, look how rusty it is. You could definitely tell this is definitely highly mineralized. Highly mineralized. Oh, some nice pieces. Even these little pieces that I got, these grab samples. I mean, even these grab samples. I mean, they are just shiny and rich. Pretty cool. Let's hope there's something in there. I'll let you guys know if I find anything. So, that was it. Ah, oh, look at this bad boy. I'll see you guys soon. All right, God bless and have a nice day. Thanks for watching. So this is pretty much what was left over from panning. No gold, but a whole bunch of really cool pieces. I mean, like really nice stuff. All this shiny mica quartz or that I don't know if it has gold or not. I'm not sure, but there's some really cool really nice pieces in here that are all ready to get crushed or I'll just add them to my you know pay dirt bags or win and pay dirt bags I make for my patreon channel I'll put these in there and one more peek of what I grabbed I mean look at this huge chunks of quartz crusted in minerals and mica and pyrites and maybe gold maybe just don't know you can see the mica shining who knows what's in this stuff till we right off the edge of a nice chunk of ore look at that look at that rust just look at this beautiful stuff i mean really really nice You can see the mica just ricocheting off of it. Well, like I said, the hunt, it's all about the hunt. 
and the treasures you find. Everything, anything you consider being a treasure is treasure in your eyes. It's really nice. And we got a whole bunch of little pieces in there, which I'll add to the, which I'll add this to it. Let that dry out. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And there will be a lot more to come. Hopefully I can show you some nice, chunky, visible gold when I'm out on my excursions and prospecting adventures. So until then, this is Martin from Golden Pay Dirt Review saying peace, God bless, happy hunting, I'm out.